Hello there, it's CBD first time, welcome to Today we're back playing Under Olymp- Under Olympus? Beyond Below! Sorry, I was I was just thinking about what I was gonna say in the intro, which is, uh, I was playing a, a puzzle map called Under Olympus, which was, holy crap, one of the hardest puzzle maps I have ever played on this channel, and I've played many puzzle maps before, and I've played on, on my own a bunch of puzzle maps, and that was so difficult, that was so diverse, it had so many, like, it's it's a simple puzzle map, but it was so difficult, and I really really recommend y'all to check it out. But sadly, I am no longer able to record that map. I recorded around over an hour footage, and uh, more or less, honestly, I'm not sure. But uh, just while I was gonna uh, end the video, power died, and I lost that entire hour worth of videos, which is like three to four levels. Which honestly, I just cannot go through again. Because I didn't, I didn't back up the map. Because I was like, oh yeah, power is. There's no way power is gonna die at this time because they changed the the times when power dies, and then lo and behold, that single day power dies at that time. And any from that day onward, it never happened again. Legit speaking, never happened again. Power hasn't died at that time ever again. It was just that single stupid day, and I lost the video. And so sadly, I cannot continue playing that map any more. So, terribly sorry about that. In the previous video, we did so much progress, which I'm very, very proud of, and I'm very, very happy of. Um, the music is gonna get going soon. We also did try and fish. I might try and fish down there, which is what I did say in the previous video. Now let me check. Uh, yeah, this one right here. I need to go to this one, pretty sure. Steel blade, yep. Uh, we cannot upgrade any of our tools. Our... Uh, crossbow, we also learned that in the previous video, is actually connected to the lag that we are getting all the time. You see this small lag? Um, it's also connected to our crossbow, meaning that uh, as long as the game is lagging, we cannot pretty much use the crossbow whatsoever. So that thing is super duper useless for me. Because the game is pretty much constantly going to lag, because I have to keep the, the chunks uh, very big for this map. That's what they asked. They asked the the chunks to be like how much? 12 or more? 11 or more? I'm not sure, but um, It's for that reason specifically that everything keeps lagging uh, and that is just to keep the the map running well So I'm sorry. I won't be able to use the crossbow. I'm very very sad about that because that would that was a uh, That would have been very very cool. Also, we did hear a chicken over on that side, somewhere. So maybe... Oh, oh, there's this guy. We better take him out. We heard a chicken in the previous video while I was fighting the die boss. Um, and so I would like to go see where that chicken could be. Are you gonna get destroyed? No, but I will destroy you myself, just in case. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies here. Okay, we haven't seen one of these Endermites in a while. I hope that the music starts soon, because I, I really like this music. And yeah, I, I cannot see any chicken anywhere. But I am 100% sure that I did hear a chicken. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go back inside there. Did I pick it up? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm gonna actually go back inside here, just in case. I need to make sure that I heard the chicken. And I'm not just seeing things. Oh, I did! There it is! It's way up there! How did I not notice that? What? Okay, I do record these at, a, at, at late at night, and I'm very, very sleepy. But wow, okay. Did not expect that. There is just a chicken way up there. Um, is there a way to get up here? Does not seem like it, because these are too big. Uh, can I...? Can I try and do this? It seems that the chicken is unaffected by by the fishing rod. Which is super duper weird. Okay, we need to find a different way up here. Maybe over here? Nah, that's too far away for us to jump. That's way, way too far away. I mean, I can try and shoot it. If the, if the crossbow would load. There we go. Okay, it's dead. It dropped a 
golden apple, enchanted golden apple, which is probably the most useless item I could have gotten. And then there's other items. Now, I know for sure that I can, yes, do this. There we go. So I can actually grab the items like that using the fishing rod. Thank you. Thank God I remember that from one of the Minecraft updates, which I no longer remember because they're easily missable, I guess. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything else over there, so let's just keep on moving on. Uh, and I will actually move back to the village, because that will activate the music, actually. And I want to deposit some stuff inside the chests. So going here, we're going to go back to the village. There's so many areas as well, man. There's still so many places to go to. Okay. Is this? Yeah, there we go, over this way. So I need to place the gapel. Uh, which is the worst item in the entire game, I can assure y'all. I thought this was good, but it's not. Even the super healing potion sucks. Um, but what can he do? Okay, so we have three and then five. We have eight. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. We're starting to stack them up. Uh, I cannot keep the crossbow loaded. The crossbow automatically unloads at some point. I'm not sure when. Anyway, I would like to go back to the Crystal Caverns. And the music. There it is. Cool, cool. Okay. Uh, remembering what I've done before, I need to go back up here and walk towards the left. Uh, because I haven't went through this half of the path. I immediately managed to go back down there. Wait, what? Oh, there's these guys over there. I didn't even see those. I never met those, because, yeah, look, the, the mobs here uh, aren't here. I made it all the way down there. Because of that area, it moves you all the way down there if you keep, kept moving inside the mine. So I, that's why I wanted to go down here, because I missed, like, a whole layer filled with enemies and gold, I guess, or gems, I guess. And I don't want to miss anything inside this map, because there's a lot of cool stuff here, like having to listen to this amazing soundtrack. My goodness me. Is there anything? No. You, fall down. There's a shulker there, though. Which I gotta watch out of. What? Watch out? Watch, watch out of. Yes. I am speaking correct English. I'm sorry. I sometimes completely forget how to speak English. Also, I would like to say, uh, expect some more shiny hunting sometime soon. Oh, nope, nope. I have been trying to shiny hunt Pokemon as much as I can lately. Uh, I haven't been... I mean, even if I'm trying to shiny hunt as much as I can lately, that doesn't mean I'm getting shinies to make videos of, you know? <laughs> Having shiny Pokemon is a lot more difficult, especially in the hunts that I'm doing currently. Um, something happened with my SD card, so I cannot, I can no longer play on my 3DS. Um, my SD card completely died, so I had to buy a new one, and thankfully since my 3DS is homebrewed, I just transferred everything back. Except from Pokemon. For some reason, Pokemon Ultra Moon didn't transfer. So right now, as we're speaking right now, uh, I am actually downloading Pokemon Ultra Moon back onto my uh, my PC to move it to my 3DS as a CIA file. And so that way I'm able to, to, to transfer it back and I have the saves all loaded up already. Because, um, well, I have the saves. I, I keep them backed up because I lost my save file one time because uh, it just kept saying cannot save failed and then it said my save was corrupted so I keep, I keep a backup of my save at all times, and I recommend you all to do that with any type of console. And so, yeah. Uh, hopefully, today, I'll get to actually play the game again, and everything should be working just fine, and I'll put more hunts up for you. I'm even starting to, to play, um, to continue a hunt, which I haven't, which I stopped doing a long time ago, which is, what's it called? Mudkip, yes. I had Mudkip. And I went 15,000 resets for it, and I stopped because I recorded it on my PC, because it's on an emulator on my PC, but today I was like, hey, why don't I just emulate it on my 3DS, which is what I did, so now I'm able to continue that hunt on my 3DS. Won't be as high quality as the one before, but hopefully it will still, it will still be pretty good and people will watch it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just saying, look out. Uh, more hunts in the future. I'm gonna try and shine as much as I can, and hopefully I'll bring y'all some more content for you to enjoy. Because I love shiny hunting because it's like an extra video 
that's just in the back constantly. Like right now I have a shiny video ready, but that's actually for my 500 uploads special. I'm just gonna say spoilers right now, it's 500, uh, 500 uploads special, which is gonna be soon. Um, cause I'm like at, how much? I'm almost at like, uh, I'm almost at 480 uploads. Uh, but I, you have to get the video ready. Uh, so I decided to make a shiny hunting video and it's, it's, it, I, I keep it backlogged, so that's like an extra video in case something bad happens. And that's what I do with all the shiny hopping videos. I, I like having videos pre-recorded and rendered, so that if someday something happened and I had to go out of here, at least when I'm back, I'd have videos ready. And yeah, that's all. I, I listen, I, I know my content is trash. I know my content is trash, but at least it's good quality trash, okay? It's something... A little good, okay. It's not just absolute zero percent good, good stuff. I try and make y'all uh, the best thing I can do when my current circumstances. Hello, did I just hear a I'm right here. Hello. No, over here. I know, man. That's a lot of enemies. I'll be back with y'all if anything special happens, like hey, me dying or something. Even though I doubt I'm gonna die anytime soon, just for the fact that I am I. I got so much health because of the charms, and I can swing faster because of the charms, meaning I can do crits a lot more often, because crits are also dependent on your uh, charge, I guess, speed. And not only that, but I also have the restorative charm, meaning I can heal like half a heart every now and then, which is not that much, but still something. Anyway, I'll see y'all soon. Hopefully I won't die. All right. Here we are at the forge. There's two crystal protectors protecting the forge. Uh, I don't think that would be necessary, y'all. I really don't want to use this forge because I don't have any materials to actually how to use right now. I have collected them all. We do have a whole bunch of steel, right? Yeah, we have steel, we have copper, and we have onyx essence. But sadly, I cannot do anything anymore because the sword is pretty much fully upgraded for now. Which is weird because they give you a, an, too much... Honestly, they give you too much uh, stuff, but still, that is not enough. That is super weird. That makes me feel like I am missing something, because we did go back in yesterday's video and find the beginner's scythe. We were just exploring a little extra, and we found the beginner's scythe, so... I don't know, maybe I am missing a couple of things if I didn't look that, that thoroughly, I guess. Though if it's something like the, the scythe... It's really not that useful. It just makes me go a little bit faster. It has less recharge speed, I guess. Yeah, it has a lot less recharge speed, and it's just, it makes me go faster. I don't think that's that helpful, but I'll still take it nonetheless. All right, and we finally made it to the last floor, safe and sound, with all of our bones and other stuff together. Um, unlike these guys who are, I'm just gonna destroy their bones right now. I see you there. But uh, last time I was here, I didn't actually get any enemies, which is super duper weird. It appears that enemies do spawn at specific places, like cave entrances. Probably because... It, actually, that kind of makes sense, because you are a traveler, because these are technically old travelers. And why would they ever roll around here? They're just gonna keep moving further, deeper into the cave, so it makes sense. Uh, I don't think I want to go there, but I do want to try fishing once more. And this time, whenever I do actually get a fish... I'm gonna wait a little bit more before I reel it in so that uh, the game lag catches on. Alright, here is the fish. Coming around. Y'all did see a fish. Huh. That's weird. I saw a fish spawn. And I did get the EXP. But, um... I never actually got the fish, so... That is kind of sad, but oh well, what can you do? Uh, they probably just disabled that in the map itself, because you're not supposed to actually fish or get drops in general. And I'm guessing fishing is like a drop, I guess, so they have to remove it. There might be like a fishing uh, boss somewhere around here, or mob. So uh, the map is always detecting if a fish gets spawned, and if it does, then they remove it. Ooh! Is that a new item? Yo! Hammer? Hammer! Ow. I don't like this. It's it's way too slow. 
Oh goodness gracious, that is way too slow. Does it even do that much more damage? It doesn't look at it like it is. It's it honestly this looks like a scam. Yeah, I would rather not. I'm gonna stay with this thing. I lost seven hearts in this battle. Alright, give me all these. So let's take a look at this. Minus six speed, 3.2 attack speed, and only does six damage, which is double the beginner scythe and just a little less than the steel uh, blade. So they are pretty much similar, except the blade does more damage and it doesn't slow you down immensely. Look at this slowness. Holy crap, give me that speed back. Thank you, Scythe. My god, that's so bad. I would, I don't like that. I love speed in games, especially in Minecraft. And I would rather not lose my speed. I mean, I can just, I can just use this for extra speed and more DPS, but it's not as good as the sword, honestly. I feel like the sword is better, just because it does more damage overall. Um... I, you know, y'all know I don't understand this sort of thing, the, the PvP, PvE aspect of the game. My mind always goes like, more damage, unga bunga, that's better, and so that's what I do. My idea for the hammer, to make it a little better, is that every time you hit an enemy, they get stunned for a little bit. Because honestly, you're moving way too slow with that thing. They might, the enemies might as well also slow down, because if they're always faster than you, you're just gonna lose at all times. So, my, yeah, my idea for the hammer, it should just do more damage than this. The blade is already better than it, and it doesn't slow you down, and it's pretty consistent with the speed. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me. So I'm realizing I'm very, very low on health, so I should be a little bit more careful. Ooh, this is a boss arena. I just, I just realized that. This is a boss arena right here, so I have to watch out. I am pretty low on health, and a whole bunch of mobs are going to start spawning soon. Once I get closer to the to the to, to, to that, usually pretty much all the boss arenas have had a place where I can just sit down and stay safe in. Over here, this does not seem to be the case. There is just just nothing. It's just a bit of water and a little bit afraid because I do not want to die here. So let's get near. I've never actually seen the keyhole. All right, here's the here's the gatekeeper. And here is everyone else attacking me. I would rather kill off the minions first, because they're the easiest. And while I'm just killing them, and I hopefully don't get hit that often, I get to regenerate more health, because I regenerate like a heart every couple of seconds. I mean, a half a heart every couple of seconds, not an actual heart. Which is fine by me. Half a heart, it might take a while, but it'll get there eventually. I'm going to skip this entire battle, because it's just going to be a laggy mess. And so, yeah, I'll see y'all whenever I either win or lose somehow. I have actually lost health, because I was stupid enough to just get near one, a bit too near one. So that's fine by me. And here is this thing, not taking any knockback. That's cool as well. Alright, so I think there's only three enemies left, maybe, because I think there is one normal skeleton somewhere around here. Oh, actually, no, there isn't. There's just a, an endermite. Alright, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill the Endermites first, because they are the most threat, because they're hard to actually hit, and they just squirm around everywhere, and then that last guy, he's gonna be easy to get. There we go. He is dead. He just decided to retreat as his, as his last thing to do, and that led him to his death. Alright, I'm gonna throw you away, because I am out of infantry space, and I'm just gonna right-click you. There we go, we're gonna open the door and go back and pick up the good old hammer -oony. Thank you, now never use it, because holy crap, that thing sucks. Now we're gonna move on to the next area. What's after the beautiful Crystal Caverns? I'm kind of sad of leaving this place, because this place had such a good soundtrack. And it looked so pretty. Let's hope the next place is even prettier than this one. And maybe a little less dangerous, because, whew, I'm almost dead. Actually, we're going upwards, I just realized. Why are we going upwards? Are we gonna end up somewhere else in the world? Oh? Music's out. It's dark. 
It's really dark. Ooh, there's some water. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna lower my brightness down. Oh, hello! Is this gonna be the water cave which I was thinking about? Down we go! I'm holding the scythe because it, it makes me go faster and I want that. Okay, that's a lot of water everywhere. It seems like we are going to a, a watery cave. Because all this water has to end up somewhere. Look at all this water. Hoo wee. Whoa, and the lag. I'm loading quite a bit of things apparently. Hmm. No hidden treasures. No hidden chickens. Also, did it say oh, I didn't say uh, in the chat how many chickens we've already killed? I would have liked to know because I'm pretty sure it is quite a bit. Okay, yep, haha, <laughs> just as I thought. The aquatic hollows. Oh, wow, this is so pretty. I'm taking a screenshot of that. Uh, I need to. I need to find a good place to take a screenshot of that. All right, let's hop down here. Hmm, there's boats everywhere. And there's merchants here already. Hmm, check them out in a little bit. Let me hear the whispers of this thing. Hello. Years of water leaking from caves and dripping into this abyss eventually created what is known to be its own ecosystem of water life. However, dive deeper below and you may find that there are still dangers in the deep. Keep your eyes out for air pockets in the water. It just might save your life. So this entire part is going to be underwater. We're going to uh, slowly go down and find uh, air pockets. That is dangerous. Let me plop in a save point real quick while healing myself. Because I did just find our first mobs of the area, which are the water dwellers. And that is quite interesting indeed. It seems that our sword is already quite ineffective against these guys, isn't it? Just uh, try one more crit. No, it's still it's still about the same. Oh yes, and we have so much money to buy stuff with. Ooh, 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 that is very very cool. Well, with me massacring these three guys right here, the drowned corpse, I will have to end today's video. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe and leave a like down below, and go down the description and uh, just download this map and play it for yourself. You can even play it for a friend, and it'll probably run a lot better on your PC than my PC because my PC is just absolutely crap. Anyway. Uh, I'm sorry that uh, uh, under Olympus, the Minecraft map, I could not finish it, uh, but oh well, these things just happen wherever I live, so I'm deeply, deeply sorry about that. I did have a lot of fun, and I really recommend you to play that game for yourself some other time in the future. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Until next time, take care. Goodbye, everybody. Just, I'm just, just, just look at all this. There's even more down there? Holy crap, this is so cool. Then, of course, there's that guy. Of course, why wouldn't, why wouldn't that guy be there? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so fun. It's gonna be so fun.